Okay. Hi, Judith. How you doing? Hi. Fine. Thank you. Cool. So I watched the film, um, and I know as I was watching it. I hope you did. <laughs> as it started, <laughs> I started to think to myself, like, where is this movie going? So I'm curious what your first reaction to the script was the first time you read it. Um, because it was sent to me by Mark Duplass and that I loved, you know, the Duplass brothers' work, I knew it was going to be good. Like, I had no doubt that it was going to be interesting. And, I mean, I basically don't laugh loud when I'm reading a script, but this time I was just like... And as, you know, I was going, reading every scene, and I was like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and every scene was bringing more craziness. I was like how far can it go like you know i i just loved it but meeting the director was actually even more interesting because he's a very subtle very sub cerebral you know intellectual guy you know he's not like trying to sell you his comedy like he, that he's going to direct and it was a very interesting combination between his personality and the script i knew this was going to be very interesting. Yeah. Did you have a lot of conversations beforehand about how to play Charlotte, or did you just say, to go with it, do what you have to do? No. we No, actually, we did not have a lot of conversations. I mean, obviously, you know, I was a bit worried of, like, the, um, the cliché version of her, which is, like, something we're surfing on, like, you know, using in, in the script, of course. Like, she has to be, like, this, you know... Um, preconceived ID that American have about French women and we're using it towards the the movie because obviously she's supposed to be super open-minded and up for everything and it's interesting that actually I think she's the less um, she, she's the saddest character in the film mm -hmm. you know I think there's something about her that is actually not accomplished sure now you all the actors in the film have to do some crazy things, some things that would make most people uncomfortable. Um, yeah. How do you prepare to, to shoot a scene like that? Do you just have to swallow your pride and just go out and do it? Or, you know, is it just trust with the other actor? Um, you know what? When I read the script, I read it like a year and a half before we shot it. Like, I, I read it before everyone else. And so then, you know, we put, they put the cast together and, and then we were ready to shoot, like, so a year and a half had passed since I first read the script. So when I was about to shoot the film, I was like, oh, maybe I should read the script again, <laughs> you know? Sure. Just to remember what I have to do, actually, in this film. So I read it, I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot <laughs> about that. So, you know, I think that everything kind of happened very spontaneously, and including, like, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting naked here. <laughs> <laughs> So everything happened very spontaneously, including my acting. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that to overthink the scenes that are obviously, you know, involving things that you've never done before is putting too much pressure on yourself. I just wanted to do it in a very spontaneous way and let the moment happen. We shot it in 12 days, including 11 nights. Mm -hmm. So we were in such a, in a state of, like, almost like somnambulism, mm -hmm. you know? Sure. Like the ambience of the film, of the set, was very, you know, like we were like super tired and loved each other, but like there was this kind of like thing where basically when you have to do a scene where everyone kisses each other, it's like, well, you know, whatever. Yeah, sure. Quick shoots, do you, do you like quick shoots or do you prefer to have a little bit more time to sort of create something I like to embrace someone's uh, style and someone's universe like his way of doing things mm -hmm. and I feel like this belong and this fitted Patrick the director so well that embracing that was just perfect I think that you know when you see the movie you can never think it was shot in 12 days it's so well filmed and like you know um, and I like to embrace, you know, each character, each director's way of filming. So if some people have to do 35 takes, which happened to me when I was 15 years old in a French film, well, I was doing the 35 takes, you know, in this movie, we were, we did not have time for that, but it just fitted the film. 
Sure. So you better be good or you're like, you know, you <laughs> yeah, don't really get a second chance. Yeah. And you also, you share a lot of scenes with Jason Schwartzman. Yeah. So you have to have pretty good chemistry with them, and you do in the film. What's it like working with, uh, with Jason? It was like love at first sight, <laughs> you know, like, I mean, I loved him as an actor. I loved him as a singer. Um, I was so happy that he was doing this role. And uh, he br brought so much fantasy. Like, he's such a great, you know, creative actor. And, like, the, the thing that he was doing in the improv, like, coming from him was, like, I mean, you know. And I think together we're kind of crazy. So we can go very far in terms of improv. Not everything is in the film. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, we were just stimulate each other. And... Uh, and he's a very generous actor. Like, I really felt I had a partner. You know, we were doing this together. Yeah. That's great. Well, Judith, thank you so much. I thank really you. appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.